In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front hub bearings on this BMW 550i. This is going to be located behind the front brakes. Let's get into it. Now we're going to remove the wheel. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Take the lug bolts out. Before I take the last one off, I'm just going to hold the wheel on. that off and grab the wheel and slide it off. We're going to take these two caliper bolts out. We're going to take the caliper and the bracket out together. Use an 18 millimeter socket. Loosen these up. Grab the caliper and wiggle it a little bit. Slide it off the rotor. Take a brake caliper hanger. And we're just gonna hang this from the coil spring out of the way. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Now we're gonna take the rotor off. There's a screw right here. Use a six millimeter hex socket. Take that off. Grab the rotor, slide it off. If it's stuck on there, you can just use a hammer and just hit around the surface of it. I'm gonna use a five millimeter hex socket. Take the wheel speed sensor off. Loosen this bolt up. Take that bolt off, grab the wheel speed sensor that out just so it doesn't break. Hey, using an 18 millimeter wrench and 18 millimeter socket, take the nut off and the bolt. Take that nut off. Take that bracket off and out of the way. Using a 16 millimeter socket, we're going to take this bolt off right here. This attaches to the bracket for the sway bar. So you can move that out of the way. On the left side, there is a ride height adjustment sensor. So we're just gonna take a 10 millimeter wrench, disconnect that with a 10 millimeter socket. Take that nut off and just move that out of the way just so it doesn't break. Now at the base of the lower control arm, we're gonna loosen up this bolt Use an 18 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter wrench. And just loosen the bolt. Now we're gonna take the outer tie rod nut off. Use a 21 millimeter socket. Take that off. And if that doesn't separate right there, you're going to have to use a front end tool and separate the tie rod from the knuckle. Now we're going to take this nut off for this lower ball joint. Use a 21 millimeter socket. Separate that. And that's going to be the same. If you have to, you're going to have to separate it from the knuckle. I'm going to use a tool to spread the gap at the top of the knuckle where the shock goes through. Just tighten this down. As I tighten this, this spreads the gap a little bit. Pull the knuckle down. There we go. And we can pull it to right there. That way we can access all the bolts. Now we'll take these bolts out. Use an 18 millimeter socket.
just going to, before I take this one out completely, I'm just going to put a couple threads just so the hub doesn't fall out in case it's that loose. All right. Then I'm just going to take a hammer and just give the hub a tap. Just break it free. Take that bolt out. And there it is. Now on the knuckle surface, there's a little bit of corrosion. I'm just going to take a wire brush, just clean that up. I take the bearing and on the bolts, I'm just putting a little thread lock adhesive. Get those started. these bolts to 81 foot-pounds. Now I'm just going to use the pole jack and just raise the knuckle up. Be careful. Just spread the knuckle a little more. Raise this up. There is a little tab. You want to get that lined up with the slot in the knuckle. I'll try to get the lower ball joint lined up as well. There we go. If you need to tighten the tool a little bit just to get everything to line up, you can do that. Make sure that the slot is lined up. Now I'm going to take the tool off because the knuckle is in the right spot. Get that out of the way. I'll just lower the pull jack, get that out of the way. Now I'm going to go to that. I'm going to put the nut on the lower ball joint. Before you torque that, we're going to put the tie rod in and the nut, get that started. And now we'll snug this down. Now we're going to torque this to 122 foot pounds. And for the tie rod end, I'm going to torque that to 124 foot pounds. Now we'll take this bolt and the bracket for the sway bar, get that started. And the shock bolt, go through this bracket and through the sway bar bracket. Make sure that's kind of lined up the way it was. Get the nut started. Snug that up and tighten this one down. Snug that one down. I'm going to torque the shock bolt, lower shock bolt to 59 foot pounds. And we'll torque this bolt to 22 foot pounds. And the level sensor in the lower control arm, get that lined up and then put the nut on. We'll tighten that down. Snug that down. Now we're going to use the pull jack. You want to raise the suspension as close to ride height as possible, still being safe. 
just so that when you tighten this bolt down, it's close to ride height. It's just gonna be hard to do this on the ground later if you were to try to do it with the wheel on. Now with a new nut and bolt in there, you wanna to torque that to 74 foot-pounds plus an additional 90 degrees. And you could use a torque angle meter. If not, do the best you can. That's good. I'll lower the pole jack. Take the wheel speed sensor, line that up. And the bolt, get that started. And just snug that, that's good. I'm just gonna spray the front of the hub surface with some anti-seize. Thin coat, take the rotor, and line it up. Make sure you line that up with the threaded hole. Get the screw started. And just snug that down, not too tight. I'm gonna take the caliper off the hanger and I'll slide it over the rotor. Slide that over the rotor. And tighten these down. And we'll torque these bolts to 81 foot-pounds. Now install the wheel. Line it up with the holes. And just take one of the lug bolts, get that started. Snug those down. Now we're going to torque the lug bolts to 98 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.